Welcome to the House of Ham. I'm Bob, WV7W. And my good friends at Rig Expert were kind enough to send me this brand new device to share with you. Now, I have to send it back to them once I'm complete with this video, and I've not been paid to do this review. The opinions in this video are completely my own. It's not meant to be an advertisement or a sales pitch. It's strictly intended to give you my views of this new product. Now, the box says that the Stick X Pro, it's the flagship of the Stick family. Let's open up the box and take a look at what we have. We have the unit and an N to SO239 adapter. And if you look in the bottom of the box, it looks like we've got a lanyard. And it looks very much like the others in the stick line. Like the Stick Pro, it has a color screen. Unlike the Stick 230 and the Stick 500, which both only have e ink displays. Like the Stick Pro, it has an N-type connector, which are common on UHF and higher equipment. Where this one is different from the Stick Pro is it goes up to a gigahertz, as where the Stick Pro only goes up to 600 megahertz. Now, I don't know how much of this does for U.S. hams, other than it does give us the ability to check antennas on the 900 megahertz 33 centimeter band, but it falls short of the 1200 megahertz 23 centimeter band. I think this device is more tailored to those who need to test commercial applications, which has a lot of RF spectrum between 600 megahertz and a gigahertz. I think users that need to do both commercial and ham would probably opt for this over the Stick Pro to get that added frequency coverage. The screen seems to be the same bright TFT color screen that the Stick Pro has, although the default theme is light blue, as where the Stick Pro's default was dark light. It does look like it has all the exact same color themes as the Stick Pro. The menus and the features of this one seem identical to the Stick Pro, including things like TDR, RNX mode that the lower end non-pro models do not have. Like the others, it has the single mode, which has five screens to show you real-time SWR, return loss, impedance, capacitive and inductive reactants in both the series and parallel configurations. It has multi-mode, which will give you a quick look at the quality of your antenna system for each of the ham bands by showing you a star rating. It then has the chart screens, which include the ham mode, which will show you an SWR graph for each of the ham bands, and the free mode, which will show you an SWR chart for a given frequency range that you can choose. And I find both of these really helpful while tuning an antenna in the field, as you can quickly see if it's too long or too short. Like the Stick Pro, it has a time domain reflectometer or TDR mode to test for faults in your transmission line. And this can show you how far out your cable you have an open or a short. Also, like the Pro, it has the RNX mode. And I really like this one as it shows you where your impedance matches your system, say 50 ohms, and also where your inductive and capacitive reactants cross zero or resonance. Sometimes these match up, but more likely they won't. As with all of the other in the stick line, it has Bluetooth that allows for a connection to ant scope on either a PC or mobile device. And this is really handy if you want to save some plots for later analysis, or if you want to display a Smith chart. Now let's talk about cost for a minute. The Stick X Pro comes in at $659 over the Stick Pro's $439 price tag. And before you go and beat me up in the comments or lamb based rig expert on this and say things like, why would I pay $230 more for just that added frequency coverage? When it comes to high quality test equipment, going from 600 megahertz to a gigahertz is not trivial. In lab grade equipment, that kind of a jump can often cost twice as much. And it takes much higher end components to be able to get the same quality measurements at the higher frequencies. And I'm sure that there'll be those of you that will say, well, I can get a nano VNA, they can go all the way up to that frequency range for less than 100 bucks. Although that is true, you will not get the same reliability and repeatability with that level of device. The bottom line is if you need the added frequency range, you will likely be okay with the added cost. If not, Rig Expert has you covered with lower cost offerings. Personally, I think that they've done a great job with the stick line that has a broad range of needs covered at price points that match the quality and capability of each of the devices. Once again, Rick Expert has delivered on good value. So what do I think of the brand new Stick X Pro? 
I think it is of the same quality as the other analyzers in the stick line. And if you have a need for the coverage up to a gigahertz, you can't go wrong with this. Understandably, it will not be for everyone, but some will find it fits their needs perfectly. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm show this video to more viewers like you. Also, if you want to see more videos as they come out, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Until next time, 73.